Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Friday Souls. I'm Alison and my channel is Soul Like Dotty. And thank you for joining me today. It is good to be back. Um, feeling quite positive, not quite as drained as I was at the beginning of the week because of course we've had that heat wave in the UK. I mean, I just thought I was going to melt on Tuesday. In fact, no messing around. I messaged Carl from work and said, I'm going in the hot tub when I come in, but don't put the heat on. Oh, it was like, oh. So, anyway, a little bit of a catch-up. I'm going to be honest, like many of you, I've, I've not done much sewing this week. Um, it, I couldn't even be bothered, and I'm being really polite there, um, to like come upstairs and cut out or anything because the heat was just overwhelming. And I'm doing like double hours at work this week because I'm co covering for my colleague Rachel, who's in Florida. So it's been a hard-going work week this week, just in terms of the hours, but an absolute pleasure to see my members and hers. So um, what I did finish off, and it's not ironed, it's straight out the wash. And I'll be honest, I don't really iron anything unless I'm pressing it when I'm sewing. I'm going to sleep in this, so it is a bit creased, but these were the, um, and I know they look huge, that's because I've got a big bum, I'm not bothered. Um, these were the, um, simplicity pajama bottoms that I mentioned last week um, and I made them a little bit wider so I had a bit of floaty movement and to go with them I did it I mean it's creased beyond belief I did make the Ogden cami and um, to go with them as as well and um, so yeah that's been in and out the washing machine all week but I'm delighted to say that my lovely husband Carl found the missing case does anybody else have missing items you know you put them in the loft these probably went in the loft well I was thinking they went in like just before you know as the pandemic hit um, and I kept saying no there's a case upstairs it's got some stuff in in the loft and I need you to find it because I need to know if it fits or if I need to make more because it was like beachy cover-ups I wasn't talking to him like that oh, man, man, man. <laughs> I am nicer than that to him honestly and he felt so bad because he went, are you sure it's not this one? This one that's right near the ladder upstairs. No, no, I keep saying to you, that's just got some stuff in that I've just put in. He went, just there's some stuff underneath it. Oh, well, sure is it. I was there all along. He's been trying to tell us that for about three months. Had to eat a bit of humble pie, you know, how it is. So straight into it today, as I said last week, I was going to start with some swimwear. So I'm going to... um tell you about what I'm making. I'm really out of my comfort zone here in swimwear. I'm wearing it. Um, not out of my comfort zone around a pool, just sh sharing it in a public forum is a massive step for me, I've got to say. Um, so no comments. Like, I know what size I am. I know what shape I am. Please don't make a comment about that in the, you know, I don't need any, um, is it deflammatory remarks? They will be removed because I think we should all be about body, body positive and the older I'm getting, the more I'm trying to embrace that about myself. There are bits of me I don't like, but I don't mind when I'm on holiday because I don't give a rat's. Um, I don't think anybody does us when you're on holiday or in the garden because nobody can really see. Anywho, um, so... The twelve that I started, well, that I have made, um, is the one I mentioned last week, which is the Ellie and Mac waterfall um, swim pattern. Um, so it doesn't actually have a costume in this one. You can do it as the briefs and there's different heights of those. You can do it as the little top. You can leave the ruffle off the top. So it's like a little strappy vest top. You can put straps on it. Um, or you've got a tankini version here that you can put little draw ties on. Now I have done, and I will pop a picture in, um, it's not full length, but it's quite a lot of me. Um, I have done the briefs and the top. This is the top. If I stand up a little bit, you'll be able to see that. I'll explain what this is about in a second, so bear with me. Um, I'm trying to make sure my boobs don't fall out the bottom of it. Um, so this is the vest top. So if you'd left the ruffle off, you'd basically put your elastic along there and um, your straps would obviously pull that bit up. I did bring it in a bit more but I think I could actually drop to a size smaller in this in this top and um, the top aligned with some power mesh that I had because I wanted to try that out and see how that worked the bottoms aligned in the clear swimwear uh, not clear cream swimwear fabric that I bought off Amazon and I'm not using power mesh anymore the difference in sewing the bottoms so easy just to put them together 
and just sewed like a dream. I put a new stretch needle in my machine and it sewed no problem, straight through the overlocker, no problem, cover stitched it, no problem. I did get my reflex thread, um, but just because I wanted to make sure, you know, I wasn't gonna hear those popping of threads when I was pulling them, pulling things on, um, but it all sewed like a breeze. So I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, the only thing I would say is I have, I, hell no, I must think I've got shares in swimwear elastic. So, um, I don't know how well that'll focus in. Anyway, Hemline Swimwear Elastic. I think I've been getting it off Amazon, but it'll be available anywhere. And I also got Hemline Clear Elastic. Now, in the bottoms and under here, I used the regular elastic. Listen to this. Top of it, I used the clear. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? That's like scientific. 50 swimmers pinged their elastic and the results were... In short, it may be how I've used it, other people might be better, but I just feel like this isn't as elasticy as this bit and the bit I've got around my legs and my bum. So I am thinking about um maybe if I decide if I decide this is just one that I'm gonna wear in the hot tub here, I'm fine. But if I do decide this is because this was my twelve, if this is one I'm gonna take on holiday, I might just um put some of this elastic underneath it because what I don't want is that whole, you know, I'm reaching for me drink. You know, nobody needs that. And you can put little straps on. So I said to Carl, I might just put the straps on. I never wear straps on holiday. I'm always trying to be off the shoulder. Um, but then I've got that bit of extra if I'm going to the bar or something like that. So I said I would explain what this dress was about. So I made this weeks ago, I've shared it before. It's literally a tube of fabric that I shared on the top. But my dilemma with this style top, which I really like, is what do I do? Because we go to a hotel that's all inclusive, you know, or you go to your B&B, you're going for breakfast, you're going in for meals. And I would always pull, pull a cover up on, obviously I can't be eating my dinner in my beer there. Um, but I was kind of thinking if I make things that have sleeves, this bit isn't good. So I'm going to be like in and out of this all day, like, like this which is okay um but it's not ideal and then i just suddenly thought this morning i do want to make some more of these for around the pool this one's in a cotton so it's a little bit probably more billowy than i want it to be well it's, it's a cotton poplin so i probably need to get something that's just a little bit softer so it's a little bit more drapey so i'm thinking um, I, I knew i was going to need to make some cover-ups so i am thinking of making maybe a couple of these in different colors but i need to start channeling my colour theme and you'll see why in a minute because I've been like a kid in a sweet shop just going oh that's pretty I love that oh that's nice I love that oh I like that's one wear fabric as well and then I just thought Alison you need to stop like seriously you, you could have gone to I don't know Debenhams online or somewhere and bought a couple of two pieces by now um, but anyway I have a very sportive husband I keep getting these boxes arriving and he's fine so yeah well, I'm just going to pause for a second because I have got the pattern pieces to show you um what I've been doing so apologies if this bit's a bit rustly um the really obvious thing that I never even thought of is just to trace around and then add a seam allowance onto a bikini bottom that you've got. Or, you know, like minor pants. They're the bikinis, but the pants, they're not, there's nothing brief about them at all. Um, and and then do the same on the front. And I never really thought of that. But I do like to follow a pattern and then I make notes and adaptations on it and stuff. So this is the bottoms of the set that I just showed you in that picture so what I did was I found my size as you normally do I did draw a purple line around because I never trace out but I thought I'm going to trace this rather than cut it just in case I need a bigger size whatever so this is the original pattern piece I just um downloaded it it was like £2.20 the pattern from Ellie and Mac or something like that um, and I sent it off to Flamingo Prints my faves to get printed so I drew round it but already when I was doing that I was comparing the knicker pattern of the Tilly and the Buttons iris because I've kind of got those down to a T in terms of how high I like them to come up um, and but I was kind of going with oh maybe I should do more anyway bottom line is I ended up, for the size that I'm wearing, this, I should be cutting them up here, but I basically ended up chopping three inches off the top. And um, so I'm following this line here. Between these sizes, can you see how big the jumper is? Because there isn't anything in there. This is the size. Now, you know, I'm not the smallest of girls. It's exactly the same at the back, by the way. Um, 
So I've altered the trace pattern. Sorry, I'll just move that over there. The, I did do the high rise briefs, but there is a medium rise brief. You can do different leg cut, cuts and things, obviously. But I find it's absolutely fit and fine around my legs. Um, and it's also um, fine around my waist. So you'll see on the picture, I've already dropped it. <laughs> dropped it. I'm not going to expose my belly to you anymore. That the, the sit of it, the fit of it is exactly where I want it to be. It feels really like I'm, I've got it on. So I'm like, going, you know, when you clench, I'm like, that's all about um so yeah and while i was kind of on with this so do it emma shared her brilliant video about all the different swimwear patterns she's found and um, so go check that out if you're looking for some ideas and inspiration Um, i just absolutely love her vlogs and um, so big up for emma um, and thank you for a little shout out for me because my news this week is that we reached a thousand subscribers so i'm absolutely over the moon thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed and if you haven't yet why not just click that button and um, you know it doesn't cost you anything you just subscribe and you can get notifications or choose not to that's totally up to you so just to explain about this flounce because i think this is going to help me isn't that word nice flounce not ruffle flounce um so i've done some dresses last summer done some did some dresses last summer that had this ruffle on but i just cut a strip of fabric out um <laughs> and you know what this is so simple but i just couldn't get me like didn't think about it so there's a piece in the pattern that creates the flounce but it's cut on fold and cut on fold um and you're probably there going yeah totally understand that alison you know like that's a real principle so just in case you don't and you're like me because i'm not at all bothered cut on cut on double fold is like this so obviously you fold your fabric in half or whatever and then you fold it in half again so you end up with a fold here that's in two separate pieces and a fold here and obviously you've got to make sure like the edges are together before you cut it up and i'm probably not gonna <laughs> nearly put that in my teeth though should I just put it down there like a big serviette? I'll probably pick the worst, slippiest material to try and demonstrate this. Live demonstration of how not to do something by Alison Martin. So basically you do that and you end up with a circle of fabric. Genius. Um, so this is the Dalston Mills fabric, swimwear fabric that I showed you the little sample of last week. So that's come. Um, absolutely lovely tiger lily in blue that one is and i'll just briefly show you the pink because i did share these last week so i'm not going to dwell on it i think these are six pound 80 a meter and this is the tiger lily in pink so this is the full size they're both really pretty i'm really pleased with those and i was really happy with those until i went on some of the websites anyhow other things just to finish off with this pattern that i found useful i don't know why it's so big but i have got an elastic chart so it tells you exactly which size and they're all in the different sections at the top so you've got straps shoulder elastic all of them it tells you exactly how much elastic to cut for them which i just think is fantastic and i use that like i was like right how much do i need for this no guessing no being too tight because i think if this had been that white elastic it would be absolutely perfect if i'm honest so that is a whole mess in my corner and um, and that is the pattern and it's very size inclusive and um, well i think that it is so the top goes from a 29 inch bust up to a 56 um, inch bus so that goes from extra extra small to extra extra large the waist goes from a 23.5 inch up to a 51 inch and then the hips or seat it's called hips 33.5 inches again is your extra extra small and the hips go up to 59 inch and um, so i do think it's pretty size inclusive and um, i am considering adding this tankini bit onto onto i'm not going to stand up again stop trying to stand up alison onto here but i'm not sure yet and i want to make other things so i may well kind of come back to this one but it's going to get a trial run in the tub tonight that is the plan so I've kind of teased you about other fabrics. I've shown you a little bit. Should I dive right in and show you? Because the lovely, um, I think she's called Alicia at Stitching Inks. She must think I've like stalked her this week. I've been ridiculous on there. Um, so the first two fabrics that I spotted on there and I was like, oh my God. And Ruan, if you're watching, 
you might be a bit like that as, as well. I know you love a bit of animal print. So these were £5 a metre. She's got loads on there. Some of them are in sets with the colliery, colliery, collar, collar, whatever you call it, the tilly and the buttons um, swimsuit. Um, but some you can buy by the metre. Um, so I got this zebra print swimwear fabric. Hello, how amazing is that? <laughs> Why am I talking like that? So this one, the top and the bottom, um, I did get out of one metre of fabric, no question about it, even with this ruffle. I was a bit, bit creative to get the, the panel pieces in for the top. Um, obviously, it depends on your size, how much fabric you'll need, and that's all on that pattern. Um, but there is enough, I think, left if I did want to add like a little tankini bit on the bottom that I could do that. This one, I got a bit, what if a metre isn't enough? And I've just bought a metre of these two. And what if a metre is not enough? So I ordered a metre and a half of this one. Oh, absolutely love it absolutely love it it's got quality the stretch is really good you can't literally can't see through it at all um so yeah this i've, I've not decided because i'm still going to make some shared tops um and i'm going to probably make some more of these because i really like it and um, so i'm not sure what i haven't decided what's going to be what yet um but then oh, i spotted this one Oh, honestly, I was so chuffed with this because I mi missed out on the Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn um, Viscose in the last drop. 6pm tonight, guys, for a new drop. I've got my eye on something. So this is swimwear fabric. How stunning is this? Um, I absolutely adore it. Um, love, love, love it. So I've got a metre of that one. These are about 150 something wide i've started using stash hub i've joined the trial for that app and um, so I'm, anything that's new i'm listing on there so I can, I can remember exactly where i got it to and add in a link to the fabric and um, so for these today i'm going to use that and drop that into i just need to remember i am trying to get better at putting stuff in the description box you might be able to tell as i show you these fabrics like my excitement level is going up because they didn't have any of this next one left just in the fabric it was only in the kits and i was a bit oh. and then i saw on facebook stories and i was at group and i was like oh my god i need to get this i need this in my life right now hello swimwear fabric number three i feel like singing mambo number five do, 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 do. Oh, do the Macarena or something i'm s i don't even go on holiday till september but i'm so excited um how fabulous like how fabulous um stunning so you know can you imagine this in a little off the shoulder number maybe i think so i am thinking i do love the patterns on these and i don't particularly want the patterns of these three to get lost off in the shared panels so the shared ones might come out of these i think um because i like these but i think this these will be more impactful that was the word I was looking for. Um, so I had ordered, I mentioned this um, liner before off Amazon, really soft. Um, I got a couple of metres of that and I went to the same company and I'd ordered this pl dark plum, it said, but it's actually like a chocolate purple. Um, now this one is from the same company, exactly the same. I just chose a different option because I followed the same link that I'd sent Carl. This one... Um, I, originally i was going to do a bathing suit in it there's no way i could do a bathing suit in this look how see-through it is but what i am going to do is use this as the liner for this one and possibly this one um or, the, or this one or all of them mm, so excited. sorry i just bring you along on my little excitement journey so the only other little bits that i've got to share with you today are um, some patterns and some fabrics so i have shared this fabric before i got it from so totally me um and i got i, I love it I, i'm absolutely convinced it's a liberty fabric and if it's not i'll eat here with a i don't know horse it's just adorable and it is so soft i mean i have got some um liberty cotton lawn and it i think it's just as soft so i got what did I get? I think I got a metre. I don't know why I got a metre from so... Oh, I think it was the only metre she had left. And then there was a remnant came up that I think was about 86 centimetres. But then I spotted this on Stitch and Ink. So I think I got another metre and a half. So I figured two and a half metres, I know, is enough to do the shared 
um, long dress with the sleeves from the sewing bee because I've done it before from a two and a half meter sew Hayley Jane um, piece. So I, originally I was going to make a sagebrush top with this but I think I'm going to make a shared dress with this because I need some blues in my life. And this is sort of, I think it's called lilac something that I'll pop, I'll pop all the links in. It's all from Stitching Ink. Um, it's been washed because that is my new resolution. So all of these have been washed and they're just ready to cut. And then the other thing that I got was, um, there are loads of shirt dress um, sets, which I've got loads of like elastic and I've got loads of fabric, but I kind of fell a little bit in love with this fabric. Um, I think, I don't know if it's four pound a meter or four pound a half meter, I can't remember, but I got the set. I think it's a 120, 112 wide fabric. So not quite as wide as others. So in the shared dress, um set whatever it's called um you got i got three and a half meters of this you also get it was 16 pound 50 so three and a half meters of fabric two bobbins of shirt elastic which are usually about a pound some black thread and it's just fallen off my machine somewhere um elastic so elastic to go along here um, I think is where it's for and over here um, and I do follow my sewn bee book pattern um, well I say that I've only made one but you actually get quick look um, a how to draft a shirt dress little card in with it so literally if you're looking to give that a go you've got everything that you need and I actually thought it was a good buy I thought it was a really good buy so I'll show you that fabric now it's this one here very pretty really colourful um, but when I was ordering, it might have been the pink leopard print, I kind of decided then that I was going to make a shirt dress with this and I'm going to make a shirt dress with the blue, um, the, I'm not getting up because you're not seeing my belly and that's it. Oh no, I've got it covered up, I've got my dress on. Totally uncoordinated. Um, so, oops, I am going to make a shirt dress out of this one because I've had this for a couple of months now. So these two and the pink shirt dress I've already got will be my shirt, shirt dress collection because I have got loads of dresses but you know what <laughs> Jet will only let us take 22 kilos on the flight how ridiculous is that I mean some of them are heavier than others I might want to take my machine not really um so I've decided to make an indigo with this one um because it's got a little bit of structure to it and I think it'll look really nice as an indigo so I did pick up um a remnant as well um from alicia and i managed to get it added to my order she was i can't say enough she was absolutely ace um this week when i was kind of because two of the orders i put through on the same day and she refunded me the packaging and put them in together how sweet is that i didn't contact her about it but then with the last order i went oh i just clicked the button too fast because i was just so excited and i wanted to add um this in i think and um, she just gave me a little code to put in the order and then merge them together. Um, which Charlotte So Affordable has done that for me before. And the moral of this story is think before you press, obviously. So, sorry if that's been a bit of an express train this morning. But I am excited and I try and get that over to you. I hope I've took you along on that. This little bundle of joy here is from Flamingo Prince. I like doing, you know, I should be in the garden on Love Island. Oh, do my weight training with this because it's so heavy but it is a little bundle all of friday pattern company so in here i don't know if i'm saying this right i've got two copies of the elysian bodysuit i got two copies because i'm fairly sure at some point that an era might want one and i just thought while i'm ordering it i can't even remember if it was one sheet or two i'm just going to get one put it in an envelope with her name on so i don't get caught out and make the wrong size for me I'm also, I've got one for myself and I have got some black jersey that I think I'll be able to use for a toile. Um, also in there is the saltwater slip dress, which I, I do hope I can get made up before my holidays. But my plan is really that I'm going to wear the bodysuit in the winter over the slip dress. And I could wear that with thicker leggings and tights. Um, and I've also, I've been looking for ages at the Ilford jacket um, and cost that's um, for any gender. Carl actually likes the look of that and I've, I have one pair of pyjama bottoms, I've not made him anything and he did say he wouldn't mind something like that in sort of a, a linen or a viscose linen in quite a natural colour for his holidays so I sort of said yeah I would do that and I am thinking I'm going to make one of those 
um, in a longer length for me. Now, randomly, we both fell into the same size bracket, um, but I did order two copies because if I do want to do one as the longer shirt, I'll probably cut one as the longer shirt, you know, anyway. I don't have to justify why I've got two copies to you guys. You understand it. I'm not a tracer if I can help it. Um, so they're not going to get unwrapped for now because if I unwrap them, I'll get distracted. I'm sure not not the only one who does this. And I'll move on to them when I should be doing this. So saltwater slips are hopefully maybe for the holidays. But if not, like moving into winter. Because, you know, if you've got a bodysuit on and you've got leggings on, I just think, oh, thick tights. I just think chucking that over the top, it's, it's you know, a nice splash of colour or whatever. Um, and then layering it up with like the jacket-y thing. That's kind of my vision on it. So, yeah. Oh, is that it? It may well be. So it's like um, Formula One at the starting line in here, ready to go. Sewing machine's ready. I'm using my necky, um, my little, it's not pot, little and portable, it's a great machine if anybody's looking for one. So my necky overlocker from all day, which I do keep saying I'm going to do a little review on and I will, um, but Abby's Den has got one. Um, and she's just ace, isn't she? Like I, I was watching her, um, embroidery machine when i woke up this morning i'm like oh, oh that's my next thing maybe next year um so sorry gonna sneeze i've edited that sneeze out you don't need that so what for the swimwear what i was doing was um sewing it on my machine then neatening up the edges with the overlocker and then i've got my um evasion set up as cover stitch so that i can just go from one to the other um without any re-threading of this one it doesn't take long to move it but i also need to get better at using the cover stitch because it's just easy to go oh, i'll do a rolled hem or i'll hem it on the machine so i thought at the minute i don't need to move this till the 4th of august if i set this up as cover stitch it's going to encourage me to use that and i did the cover stitch around around all of this i don't even know if you'll be able to see it around the top there we go i just did a twin you could do a twin needle um but it doesn't look as nice on the back but it, it looks like um overlocking on the back but it is slightly different um a different finish yeah there you go but you can just sew your swimwear with the machine and the right needle i'm going i've probably done your head in sorry about that but thank you if you've managed to stay to the end and not nod off um, and i will see you next week bye for now